We would all love as coaches just to cruise through the year without any kind of adversity here. Uh, I, you know, I'm sure that through the course of the year we're going to face more more of this, but uh, what's important is always how you respond. And uh, and again, for me, it's looking at our character or looking at our leadership group. I think there's a recognition that uh, that we haven't been at our best, and um, and now it's just time to get back to it. Now, we're not just going to snap our fingers and all of a sudden things are going to be better here. We've got a tough opponent tonight, a tough game. Um, the biggest thing for me is that we come into the game with the mindset that, that we're ready to play 60 minutes and and uh, and throw our best game out there? Uh, it'll be tough. Uh, they're a really good team. Uh, we knew that coming into this season. Uh, obviously, with with uh, McDavid and uh, Dreisaitl, you got to keep an eye on. But uh, they, they, they've they been building right, and uh, they, they feel like a good team now. And as you said, last five games, they're, they've been really on a roll. So uh, we, we're going to have to work really hard and then let our skill take over. Uh, we can't do it vice versa because then then uh, Edmonton is really dangerous. They're a fast team. They're, they play well. They, they're a very good team. And uh, I think it's going to be a game where we have to kind of get pucks in deep, get behind their D, and uh, make sure make it tough for them to kind of come at us. and uh, Just make it tough on them that way and make sure that we're all connected in a system if we're all playing together the same way. Um, if we play fast, it's it's tough to play against, uh, kind of like any other team. What I see in them is a team that, that looks like they've found their game. Um, you know, looking at their last five games, only one home game, but they're three one and one in that time. Um, you know, to me, it looks like they're pushing teams out of games. They're 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 doing a good job executing, getting pucks in behind their defense. They're 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 aggressive on the forecheck. They're arriving physically, um, and then they're, they're they're playing a lot of uh, spending a lot of time in the offensive zone. Um, so it's going to be a handful. Where, you know, our our ability to execute. It's going to be, um, you know, probably one of the biggest keys tonight. If we can break that four-check pressure, and and obviously when we are in our own zone, we're going to have to defend hard. And, um, but we also don't want to be defending all night, so we're going to have to try to find some opportunities to separate, to be aggressive, and and uh, try to get to our game. It brings back memories for sure. Um, it's a little different when the arena is downtown. Uh, I'm used to Rexall uh, five minutes out, but. Uh, uh, what an upgrade it is with the arena and everything. Uh, you can see this building, uh, building, buildings around the arena. It's, it's. I talked to some people around here. It's, it's such an upgrade, and I think Edmonton deserve, deserves it as a city, uh, with, with all the fan base and uh, and all that. So um, yeah, it's, it's really, really awesome for the city. It's exciting. Um, it's pretty humbling uh, just to get home. I've, we had the day off on Tuesday and then yesterday I had practice day so it's kind of cool. I got to see family for two days in a row and friends and things like that. And uh, When you get to do that it's pretty special because you, you don't get to do that that often unless if it's the summer so whenever you get to come here it's, it's a lot of fun.